Hi, my name is Vinay Kaushal. I'm a guitar player with the band MT Cafe. MT Cafe is a funk fusion band. It's a four-piece band with the flute, guitar, bass and drums. And of course, a little bit of singing. Uh, we play a little bit of funk, a little bit of blues, a little bit of fusion. It's a mix of all of that. We have an Indian classical flute player in the band, so he brings his own element. Today, I'm going to talk about one of our songs. It's called Whatever It's Called, for lack of a better name. And uh, <clears throat> I'm going to play you the solo and try and tell you all what I'm doing with the same thing. <laughs> think of a solo like this is a planned solo that I played it's not just improvised what I'm trying to think of is a slight storyline to the whole thing and I want to build it up uh, many ways to build it up you can start it slow and uh, end up playing really fast so you're building it up you can start slow volume wise and build it up you can start with on the lower part of the neck and go up in frequency so that's what I'm doing here basically um, I'm starting the solo right down here where it's everything's <laughs> And I'm ending it right up till that note. So I'm going up the solo with frequency. Uh, let me play it part by part. So what's happening there is I'm bending it first from an F sharp to a G. And then when I want to end the lick, I want to end it on the A again because it's a chord tone. So I want to end it there. So first I'm bending up the F sharp to a G, playing around it a little bit and then bending the G up to the A. And then I'm again bending the F sharp to the A. So it's something like this. Next lick I'm playing, uh, so this is midway into my solo basically. Now I'm gonna go, I'm start, I'm gonna start going up in frequency, in pitch. Uh, so what I'm doing there is I'm trying to let the vamp go on and I'm going off the beat. Again, I'm very aware of where the beat is, that, that's when I'm going off. I'm not purposely going off. I want to not sound with the beat. So I'm doing this little pentatonic lick here that we spoke about before. <laughs> So I'm just going to throw it on as though I'm not sure where I am. That, that doesn't have any rhythmic relevance to what's going on. The only thing I'm aware of there is where I end has to be on a strong beat again. So. So that is my little anchor there. I'm, I'm, I'm making sure I hit the G note when we are on the top of the beat again. Let me play that again. This, now we come, this was the third little section of the solo. Now we come to the ex extreme last uh, two bars of the solo. That's where I'm doing that. So let me tell you what's happening here. Uh, this little thing is a very common blues thing. So the scale doesn't have a C note basically, it has a C sharp. And C is the minor third, C sharp is the major third. The chord has a major third. So I'm slapping it on from the minor to the major. It's a typical thing you can do that if you're playing in a minor key, you can only hit the minor third. The major third there is just going to sound wrong. But when you're playing a dominant chord, you can hit both. So that's what I'm doing there. Very typical blues thing.
the whole thing is based on that. So let me break that lick down for you. Again, the bends are very similar to what I was doing down here, except they're an octave up. That's what I did here, and I hear that way. Very important thing to remember in trying to, at least this is what I do. Um, uh, I try and play similar things again because that's what the audience is, that's what the listener is trying to look for. He's not. Uh, interested in how many notes you can play and how many cool licks you can play because the listener is not watching you play them. So if you repeat something, uh, it's called a motif. If you try and repeat a part of your solo, it could be the same thing played slightly differently or it could be an octave up or in harmony or you know in any way possible. But the repetition of a certain thing is going to is going to hit the audience better or the listener better. So same thing I was doing here. <laughs> I'm doing the same thing all over again on the top. And then that's that's pretty much the end of the solo and we vamp down to the F sharp again. It's one bar of 5-4. Y'all are gonna have to listen to the song really well to get that bar. Uh, so I'm so what I'm doing is I'm bending the G note up to the A. And I'm also playing the A note, so it's 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 both the strings playing the same note. And then I come down chromatically to F sharp. That that enters the verse where someone's singing and it's all in F, F sharp all over again. So it's. There you go. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that solo. I hope any of y'all feel like playing it out. Uh, please check my band out. It's called Empty Cafe. It's a funk fusion band. The flute and a guitar really trying to duel it out with each other. Or not really, but it's a fun band. Check it out. Uh, you can find our songs on www.emptycafe.com. That's E-M-P-T-Y-C-A-F-E.com. Uh, we have a few videos there. We have a new EP on there. Um, a special thanks to these guys at Sound Silence Studios who are doing these things. And there are a lot more videos coming out, so keep a lookout for those on YouTube.